Hey, good morning, everyone. Here are some upcoming announcements and events. The scripture of the week is Ephesians chapter 4. Be sure to talk about it with family and friends. Special thanks to everyone who's been able to attend our drive up services. Another big special thanks to all of those who prepared the church grounds, those who served during the service, and our tech team for providing the sound for the services and putting the messages on YouTube and Facebook. The services have been a huge blessing. Some of our members were able to interact with those passing by. Let's continue to see how God will use us. Hey TPC ladies, we will be holding a women's ministry conference call meeting on Friday, July 24th. Be sure to check your TPC newsletter for call and information. During this time, there are several ways for you to continue to worship the Lord with your giving. You can download the Givelify app and locate Turning Point Church, or you can visit tpcglobal.org forward slash giving. If you have not been getting the TPC newsletters or have not been contacted by a member of our pastoral care team, please give the church office a call. We'd love to hear from you. And although we aren't physically meeting, we are still virtually meeting. So be sure to connect with us at tpcglobal.org. Can everybody hear me? Amen, amen, amen. If you, if you um, have your Bibles, you should be turned to Hebrews chapter 11. Are we doing verse 1 through 3? There'll be many scriptures used this morning, and I'll call them out as we go so you could write them down for your notes as you go back and um, study this word. Amen. <laughs> I'll just read this. <clears throat> now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. And verse 3, by faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen Hallelujah Holy Spirit thank you the things that were seen were not made by things which are visible I'm going to come back to that as we go through the text but last week we were talking about the just shall live by faith and checking ourselves for how effective we are in that area. So today, we want to put living by faith into action. Is that okay? See, depending on the issues in our lives, We have a true account of where we are in our faith walk. How many of us know that? Just based on the issues and demonstrations of things in your life, you kind of have a temperature check, if you will, of where your faith walk is. Amen? You see, I like to use this analogy of faith. You know, just like a lot of things that we read in the Word of God. See, faith is a muscle. If not nourished by the word of God and exercising it, it will not be able to function in your living as needed. How many of us understand that? See, can, consider a weight trainer a bodybuilder. Amen? If they do not go to the gym, lift weights, all different types, because you got weights for every part of the body and weights for different parts of the body that has two types that have to be used to get the results that they want. So if they don't exercise and then they don't take the proper nutrition, they cannot build muscle the way it needs to be for them to function. 
Amen? And that is the same way our faith is. If we have the faith, like we said last week, you know, we got, we, by faith we come to God. And he said the just shall live by faith. Amen? But if, but if you're living by faith and you're not exercising that faith, guess what happens when the floods come? Amen? See, faith should be consistent, folks. It should not be fair weather. Faith should be strong even when it's not convenient. Faith should be seen in our daily lives. See, when people see you, they should see your faith and that should be your witness. See, faithfulness when we walk and talk in our actions, even through adversity, sends a powerful message. See, adversity is face us each and every one of us how we handle it though is how our measure of faith is seen by Almighty God see we all have troubles in our lives don't we and in some of those troubles our faith becomes questioned Wow. <laughs> See, we need to pray that God will help us during these times. See, if you believe that God sent his son to die for our sins, then you should believe that he will bring you through whatever comes your way. Our faithfulness when seeing can be a great witness, like I said before, for Christ. Amen? So, what is faith? Well, Timothy said in 2 Timothy 1.12, I know whom I have believed. See, faith is a blind leap into the dark. To many unbelievers, faith is a science. Unbelievers, man, you make sure we don't mince our words. To many unbelievers, faith is a science. But you see, for us, faith is our devotion to God. As we read in the scripture earlier that faith is the substance of things hoped for all the things all our being is our bank and laying it before the almighty father amen all our hopes all our dreams all our desires we lay it all in him for him to stir it because guess what we don't see him but we know him just look at your life how you transform once you got to know the living God amen <laughs> So the word also said by it the elders obtained a good testimony now we know in this particular chapter that they have the what we call the faith hall of fame we should often refer back to that entire chapter chapter 11 it really tests us to see where we at with the different trials that we may go through as we are living our life remember the just shall live by faith It goes on to say in that um, third verse, By faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God, so the things which are seen are not made of things visible. It's a third word, is a testimony of who we are as kingdom citizens and believers in Christ. Amen? <laughs> See, true faith, hallelujah, is confidence in God. True faith is obedience to God's word. Your faith will be tried. Your faith will be tried. Charles Spurgeon once said, if you want great faith, then expect great trials. See, as we traverse through life, folks, what's a true test? is when something happens. That's a true test of where our faith lies. I recall reading a story of this one gentleman. He was a elder in this particular church. And he was one of the guys that everybody looked up to as a bedrock of what faithfulness is about. He gave millions of dollars to his church. He was at every event 
and he was doing everything that God was asking him to do until he suffered a heart attack and in the bed the story that I'm talking about they recall him saying man I, I, what happened I've been doing all these things I no, I don't even know if I'm going to heaven I, I don't even know if I'm a Christian because this happened to me how many people identify with that line of thinking when the enemy comes your way and throws something in your path see that's when your true test comes folks that's when you really dig in if you will into your fake muscle because if it's been exercised the way it's supposed to be exercised when that flood comes you walk right through it matter of fact you walk on top of it hallelujah see faith is a common denominator in all of our lives amen that is something that we all have to have in common as we walk through this thing called life See, when we got up this morning, we had faith that the light would come on when we flipped the switch, didn't we? When we walked into a building, we have faith in the construction crew and the engineers that the building that they built is not going to collapse on you. The Bible insists that we personally put our faith in Jesus. Acts 4, 12 says, Nor is there any salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved as the name of Jesus you give it all to Jesus he is the author and finisher of our faith hallelujah so there's many instances I could probably use today to model living by faith but just a few because I don't want to keep us out there too long it's getting hot but one of the things that you have to do is prayer and along with prayer fasting and prayer see if you recall in Mark 9 20 to 24 when the disciples couldn't cast that evil spirit out of that that, that, that young man amen Jesus he was not disgusted at the situation was disgusted at the, at the fact that they weren't exercising their faith as they should hallelujah you see when you have some things your faith should tell you that you need to go into a season of fasting and praying to get through that flood hallelujah reading and understanding the word Woo. a lot of times people treat your time or your devotion to the Lord as just a perfunctory thing to do the word is everything you hear me say that a thousand times if you hear me say that a thousand times I haven't said it enough see without faith it's impossible to please God for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder for those who diligently seek him. Hallelujah. That's Hebrews 11, 6. Folks, big seeking, big rewards. Little seeking, little rewards. Woo. Another thing that we have to do as we live by faith is completing the cycle or the circle once God has acted on your behalf I take you to Luke 17 11 through 19 the stories of the 10 lepers we're very familiar with that you know the 10 of them came and Jesus came upon them excuse me and they were begging to get there the leprosy off of them as you know leprosy is a horrible disease hallelujah you know parts and stuff fall off of you've heard many preachers speak and talk about that but just for the sake of time the ten receive healing for the leprosy. They asked, and it was given unto them. Amen? Here's the kicker. Only one came back to complete the cycle. 
only one became whole. Only one came back to praise and give God the glory and, and that he deserves for doing what he just did. So only one became whole. We must remember to not just pray in faith for the things we want, but to continue to praise God like it's already done when you lift it up in faith. Hallelujah. See, there must be a basis for your faith. See, if I was standing at a chasm, and everybody know what, I, I don't know if you know what a chasm is, it's like the rope bridges that they have that go from cliff to cliff. And I could see that the ropes are frayed, and some boards are missing out of the bridge, and others look rotten. And one of the anchors on my side of the bridge is about to come out of the ground. Then to say, I have faith that I'll make it across would sound very foolish to a bystander, wouldn't it? They might either say to me, I think to themselves, well, I have more faith in the law of gravity than in that bridge. So I think I'll just stay right here, thank you very much. But you know what's mind-boggling with that analogy? <clears throat> People use the word faith as though they were saying, I'll make it across to the other side, when there's no bridge there at all. You see, you got to have a basis for your faith. God puts that in you. When you see a thing and he puts it in your heart, you have to have the faith that he will take you through it. Please remember, folks, if God's bring you to it, he's going to bring you through it. Come on. Whew. Come on. When they're saying, I have faith that this or that will happen, but do not base that faith on anything, they have perverted hate, faith and empty hope. I will say that again. If people go around saying that they have faith, that this or that will happen, but do not base that faith on anything, they have a perverted faith and an empty hope. That's a good time to say amen. People put their faith in a lot of things, friends. But they don't put their faith in God enough. Most of us, most of those things that are not worthy of faith is some of the things that we dwell on. When we trust in the world's foundations, when we trust in the world's bridges, when we trust in the world's standards, we set ourselves up, folks, for a long fall. It may not come right away. Sometimes we get pretty far along in that mode of living. But sooner or later, sooner or later, the world's foundations crumble like one of those rotten boards that you may see in that chasm I was talking about. And we are dis disappointed if not destroyed. If you want to look for proof, look at what's been going on in the world from February, or actually before that, from January 2020 to the present time. And as I close, as I close. Faith is also not a tool we use to just make things happen. Faith is our way of life. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. And I love this one of my favorite passages of scripture and it reads as follows. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking into Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Folks, if we based our faith in that, that Jesus says the art and finish of our faith, that he's sitting at the right hand of the Father, he's looking, he's looking, he's interceding 
Oh, hallelujah. And he's going to come back to judge the quick and the dead. And he is the foundation of our faith. If we bank everything on Jesus, if we lay it at his footstool, if we bring it boldly before the throne of grace, ain't nothing in this earth that's going to shake you. Ain't nothing in this earth that's going to move you. Because what God brings you to, he is going to take you to. He's going to lift you up. He is our God. He is our peace. He is the peace that has shackled every wall. Hallelujah. He is Abba. He is Daddy. And we love him so. Hallelujah. Friends, the just shall live by faith. Continue to exercise that faith muscle. When you get sometimes when things may look to stir you, go back and read over the faith hall of fame. Look what all these brothers and sisters went through. And I can assure you that you're going to get something from it that's going to lift you from glory to glory to glory. God bless you this week. Hallelujah.